there's a myth in the culture that if you're married to the right person, like it's smooth sailing. And if you're having problems, maybe you married the wrong person. Mm -hmm. But in fact, the problems do surface in every relationship. So in modern marriages today, the challenge is really how to stay together and how to make a marriage work and stay strong. What are some tips that you can give couples today? Well, um, Hel the first tip that Helen and I give couples is to commit to the partnership, mm. not to your own need satisfaction. <clears throat> this is a paradigmatic change from what most advice is, is to get your needs met in the relationship. If you're not getting your needs met in the relationship, then something is wrong with your partner or with the relationship. And we reverse that and say that the, the way to make your uh, marriage strong is to be sure that your marriage or slash partnership is the centerpiece of what you focus on. So you ask, not what can I get out of this relationship, but what does this relationship need me to put into it? And the reason for that is that um, if you put energy into the relationship, you make it healthy. Since we are contextual and relational beings, you make your context healthy, then you benefit from it. But if you focus on your needs and don't pay attention to the context, then the context suffers and you suffer because the context is where your needs are met, not inside the self. So the reason we try to get this information out is because there's a myth in the culture that if you're married to the right person, like it's smooth sailing. And if you're having problems, maybe you married the wrong person. But in fact, the problems do surface in every relationship. Every marriage of our dreams becomes the marriage of our nightmare. It happens to everybody. And so Harville and I think it's so important, you know, get ready for it and, and, and create a structure to, by which you commit to keep the relationship nourished and thriving because without a commitment, a daily commitment to practice, <clears throat> healthy, healthy relationship here while you're dealing with all these other relationships in the world, you have to daily practice uh, on taking care of your own relationship. So don't trade your partner in for someone else. Focus no, on what you can the do. The same problems will surface yeah. with number two. So we, like uh, about 12 years ago, we started giving three appreciations to each other every night before going to bed. So things like that. It's a great tip, great tip. So one of the tips that I give people is to begin listening in a way that while you're listening, you're communicating to your partner with the way that you listen, that your partner is important. Mm. And that should be the first goal of listening, is with my eyes, with, with my, just my silence, communicating to you as my partner that you're important mm. and that what you have to say is important. Mm -hmm. And at first, it's just something that people just don't think of but it becomes just a natural habit. And then the second key to listening is to always begin from that place of curiosity. Um, especially in long-term relationships, people begin thinking, I've heard this before, I know what, I know what my partner's gonna say. But if we just approach it from a place of, I may have heard some of this before, but today's a new day, it's a different day, and I'm wondering what my partner's gonna say today. Mm -hmm. When we can begin practicing that and it becomes just natural, that's a big piece to uh, creating the relationship. Usually couples come in is, well, he's doing this, he's doing that, and everything he does is wrong. <clears throat> and so I turn the table around and I invite him to say, rather than pointing at him, is it possible to, to wonder how is your contribution to the, in, the wrong interaction or the negative interaction, what is that adding to, you know, what is your responsibility on that? So I kind of have them exercise, how am I contributing to us feeling so distant to each other? Or what is my contribution to every time I talk to you, you respond so badly? So I make them responsible, each, each one from the couple, 
uh, not only to what is the contribution to get a negative interaction, but also what is the contribution to maintain a very nice, positive, and nurturing interaction. Yeah, I like how you yeah. use that example of spinning it in the positive way as well. Yeah, I, I think that the new work that's being done around the science of commitment is really key. I think that a, a decision to be committed is so important and it's so simple but something that couples don't think about and it's there's this sense of I'm committed as long as things are going well but are you committed when things aren't going well and what are you prepared to do what resolve do you have to bring forward to make it work when it's not easy and wonderful because the good times will settle down that dopamine rush is going to you know um, stop washing over you and then real life sets in and how intentional are you about keeping it going? It's not easy, it takes work. Yeah. We all know that marriage has its challenges and these are some great tips from the experts about how to have your partners back and how to make your partnership work. <laughs>